Hey guys, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeves here, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge. Pulling back the layers and dissecting your favorite suggested tracks. And guess what came around? Uh, Clutch. And I went, wait, didn't I do one from them already? And I looked back and I went, oh yeah, I did. This was back in August, but here's a new one here. It's called uh, A Shogun Named Marcus. And uh, that's, that's a unique title and stuff. What I remember of Clutch is they were raw, powerful rock metal band uh, that relied on great musicianship, great songwriting and stuff. I mean, that was just my only experience that I had from the other songs, so I'm sure that I'm going to get the same here uh, with a Shogun named Marcus. So, like usual, I want to thank you guys for your support. You guys know how you can do it, uh, whether it's merch, a cup of coffee, just even sharing the video, even leaving a comment is support. Eh, even by you showing up and listening here is support. And, of course, I appreciate that. So let's do this. This is Clutch, a Shogun named Marcus. All right. You know what I really super dig about this, because you guys know I've been out on a, on a trip about the power of bass. First of all, the riff is just, it lights you up all the way and it, they keep that thing flying through so you're completely lit. It's like, it's like a line of gunpowder that's going to go to a barrel and then, you know, the explosion is the hook. Um, I like that in the verses they drop the bass completely, you know, and do you see how that kind of, it gives this, do you see how the bottom falls out, that bottom falling out, actually it's perfect for this production of this song but when it comes back in it's it's really obvious there's the bass is there and stuff like that obvious but you can feel it what i liked is in the second half of uh the verse i think it was one turnaround two turnaround um how once again they cut the bass out but when the bass came back in the second time it wasn't repeating the pattern that it had the first time so it was a little more straightforward and driven you saw me you know do this i love the lyrics i'm only picking apart a small bit of the lyrics but this sounds like it must have been just a full-on masterful kick-ass one song. I wonder if they, did they do a video on this. I would have liked to have seen that. But I try not to do reactions to videos because you guys know everything from sound quality to video blocks. I'm just not going to deal with it. Anyhow, uh, this is such a grindy, powerful, fast-forward kind of a track. I'm going to get right back into it. Oh, it's kind of short. All right, I'm going to go back a little bit. And then I'll more remarks at the end of the track. Well,
what he got though when I got to him. <laughs> this had to have been such a riot for them to play live. I mean, without a doubt. Um, <clears throat> the, one of the things I forgot to say on my first stop that I really dug is when they went, you know, chug, 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 you know, for the riff. And then there was that one chord or, or those two notes that they kind of rang out and uh, that had kind of a little dissonant to it. It was very unique, it was, duh, 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 you know, that kind of a vibe and stuff like that. Right now, I mean, forgive me, because you guys know my brain cells are, are kind of what they are. Um, it really reminds me of kind of, there's, uh, do I dare say a little primus primus she kind of vibe with that? And, and once again, I'm not, uh, I'm just a reactor. This is a whole new journey, and I'm trying to stack up in all these, you know, new genres I'm exposed to. But the power, the, the, um, uh, the vocal approach, the rhythmical approach to the vocals, as well as the lyrical content. So, you know, that kind of poking fun, but not, but yeah, kind of vibe. Um, and, you know, like I said, I was just kind of glowing over the dropouts of the bass at the beginning. And, uh, but I mean, this was a kick-ass song. I loved every bit of it. I think I need to dive in much more into Clutch. Much more into Clutch. Ugh, but ah, it, you know what, it's just coffee. This, I, I'm drinking this like, Death Wish coffee, and I just, sometimes I get so supercharged, I'm like tripping over my tongue and stuff, but it feels good. Uh, so anyhow, so that's my story. Please give me any more clutch that you want me to listen to. This was a kick-ass song. I'm actually going to put this on my Spotify, and I'm going to take my walk, and I'm going to listen to this again and rinse on it. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out here on the channel. Thank you so much for your support. No matter how you do it, sharing videos, cups of coffee, whatever it is, the fact that you're even here listening to this is support too. So thank you guys so much. Aloha.